This tutorial forms part of our basic computer training course for anyone worldwide and for those looking to qualify in the European Computer Driving Licence the tutorial covers the final parts of the Equal Skills Basic section Elements 1.9 and 1.10. The lesson is titled Your Keyboard. Now we all know that we can use our keyboard for entering text and numeric data but we can also use our keyboard for giving commands to our computer. We have here a photograph of a basic computer keyboard. And I'm firstly going to show you how the keyboard is organized. We have our typing, alphanumeric keys. These keys include the same letter, number, punctuation and symbol keys found on a traditional typewriter. We have what's known as control keys. These keys are used alone or in combination with other keys to perform certain actions. Function keys across the top. The function keys are used to perform specific tasks. They are labelled as F1, F2, F3, etc. The functionality of these keys differs from program to program. So depending on what software you're running, or what program you're running, the functional keys will differ. Navigational keys. These keys are used for moving around in documents or web pages and editing text. They include the arrow keys, home, end, page up, page down, delete and insert. Now not shown on this keyboard but often found on a keyboard is a numeric keypad. The numeric keypad is handy for entering numbers quickly. The keys are grouped together in a block like a conventional calculator. We already know that our cursor will tell us where we can type text or numbers by changing its appearance over an insertion point. Once we can type, not only do we have letters and numbers, but we also have some other keys to use in addition. And they include your shift key. The shift key in combination with a letter or another key will either change the letter to uppercase or it will show the character at the top of that key. Caps lock. Press the caps lock once and this will turn all your letters to uppercase. Press caps lock again, it will return to lowercase. Tab. Press the tab key to move the cursor several spaces forward. You can also press the tab key to move to the next text box on a form. Enter. Press the enter to move the cursor to the beginning of the next line. In a dialog box, press Enter to select the highlighted button. Spacebar, press the spacebar to move the cursor one space forward. Backspace, use the backspace to delete the character before the cursor, in other words the character that you've just typed. There are also a number of command keys we can use, particularly as shortcuts. Most of these keys only work when used in conjunction with other keys. We can use commands when working in WordPad or most softwares. Not only do we have a new button but we can also use control and an N. Open, control and O. Save, control and S. And print, control and P. And that's available to you in most Microsoft softwares. Navigation keys, we have left arrow, right arrow, up arrow and down arrow. Now these can move the cursor or selection one space or line in the direction of the arrow or scroll a web page in the direction of the arrow. So I hope that helps you to understand there's a little bit more to the keyboard than you first thought. Thanks very much.